Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is a Thursday morning, bright and early. It's about 8.30 a.m. and I am gonna start a pot roast for us to eat tonight because it takes like eight hours in the crock pot and I freaking love a pot roast. Oh my God, it's like my favorite part of fall and winter and like the cozy months. And I do wish that I had made it yesterday. I didn't know yesterday when I woke up that it was gonna be raining all day long. It rained all day yesterday. And like, if you live probably anywhere other than the Southwestern United States, you're like, okay, cool. But here, like it never rains and it was just so nice. So I am really hoping for lots more rain in the coming months. So we are going to first start out by just browning the actual pot roast. I think I showed this exact thing when we had like a fake fall day, <laughs> probably like the beginning of September with our friends Josh and Noel. Um, and we made like a pot roast and we watched Harry Potter and we just did all like the cozy fall things. So this is the exact same thing. So I'm just browning the meat, I'm throwing everything in the crock pot and I'm turning it on low for eight hours and that's it. Just realize we don't have beef broth. We're gonna use vegetable and wine. It'll be fine. This is how we measure. How do I think of Goodbye. We will see you in eight hours. All right, just got out of the shower. I'm just getting ready now because I'm meeting my friend Molly Burke for coffee this morning, which I'm so excited. We haven't caught up in a while. So it'll be really nice to see her. We've both been to Japan, like since we saw each other last. And also we've both been to the UK. So we have like a lot to catch up on. So it'll be really nice to see her. We're gonna go to the Grove and get some coffee. And I haven't been to the Grove in so long. So I'm actually really excited. And Drew's birthday is actually on Sunday. Today is Thursday. And so I thought that I would do a little bit of birthday shopping while I'm at the Grove. So that might be a little fun day out. I love shopping and I love shopping for other people too. So we'll see what we end up finding. But since we just did our big UK trip and that was like pretty expensive, um, we aren't really getting each other like too many presents coming up for the holidays, but I wanna do like something nice. You gotta open a few presents on your birthday, you know? Just nothing crazy. So that's gonna be fun. I am so tired because I was up late reading my book last night. I finished my book that I've been reading called War D by Frida McFadden. Her books are very, very easy to read, very quick, suspenseful, thriller, etc. Although I did see after the fact, like some people kind of have criticisms of the book because of like her portrayal of characters with mental illness, because it does take place in a psych ward. And I didn't really think about that at the time, but now that like I see people saying that, I'm like, oh yeah, that is kind of true. So keep that in mind if you're looking into reading it. But um, I still, you know, enjoyed it. The ending wasn't exactly what I expected, but I knew there was going to be a twist because all of her books have twists but then when the twist came I was like oh I don't know <laughs> hopefully that's not a spoiler if anyone's interested in reading it but anyway I had the busiest work day yesterday I think I spent 11 hours editing a main channel video yesterday which is just like that's insane I always definitely go radio silent during the week especially when I'm vlogging because I don't know how to vlog and work at the same time like I'm incapable so having two YouTube channels can be kind of just like ah chaotic because you're always working on one or the other and because this is a vlog channel I typically like vlog my life but I'm not gonna vlog myself sitting there for 11 hours in the same spot on the couch without having even taken a shower or brushed my hair just to finish this video in time for its deadline. So anyway, that was uh, interesting. My brain truly felt like it was made of liquid by last night. So I was like, I'm just gonna read my book and dissociate. So that is what I did and it was lovely. And now we are almost at the end of the week. It is almost Friday. I'm so excited for this weekend because it is Drew's birthday weekend. So we're gonna have lots of fun. I'm not gonna vlog it. I actually think this is going to be my last vlog until Vlogmas. I literally can't believe Vlogmas is coming up like so, so soon. Oh my God. 
I've already made like my little intro and my end card and I really to be honest like don't want to bring the song back because it's like this silly cheesy song but a lot of people tell me that they look forward to hearing it so that is very flattering and funny it's just not meant to be taken seriously so I am gonna bring it back for this year again I think this will be my 10th Christmas in a row vlogging um I used to vlog on my main channel back in the day and those are all on private for good reason <laughs> they were terrible but like literally i think this is year 10 of me vlogging for vlogmas so that's kind of crazy i haven't decided the frequency i want to do yet feel free to leave me your feedback down below like should i do every day do you watch people every day is every other day enough i haven't done every day since probably like 20 18 or 19 and I don't know like I kind of want to send it but also I don't know that sounds unhinged <laughs> I need to finish getting ready but I wanted to ask you if you could please 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 leave me any vlogmas requests things that you want to see me do down in the comments below for vlogmas because my day-to-day -day life is extremely boring I do nothing I sit on the couch I edit I go into my office I film I occasionally catch up with people and that's literally it so if you could give me some advice or just some general suggestions of things that you want to see for vlogmas i would love you forever because yeah i just want to make vlogmas really good this year i say that every year but like i just really want vlogmas to be like extremely cozy and like very holiday-ish and like something that you really genuinely look forward to tuning into instead of something that i kind of just sloppily threw together so yeah let me know down in the comments below i'm gonna finish putting on my eyeliner mascara i have to leave in like 20 minutes and then we'll get dressed together and head out the door okay so here is what i am thinking for today's outfit i don't know why i have my shoes on the table that is unhinged but i have this dress from old navy it probably like needs to be ironed but we're gonna see if i can get away with it it's kind of like a linen-y dress and it's obviously not warm enough to wear just a spaghetti strap dress so then i decided to go with this sort of like faux leather bomber jacket i think those two will be really cute together with some socks and loafers so we're gonna try it on and see what it looks like all right here we have it i think it's actually really cute i like that it's like a little bit of a girlier dress with sort of a i don't know like baggier oversized type of coat so I think it's cute. I'm excited. As you know, I've been trying to get dressed more because I'm just like not great at that. Most of the time I wear like leggings when I go out and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but I just, I have a lot of clothes and so I want to start wearing them. So this is cute. I also have on my little L necklace for Layla because it makes me really happy. I have my little silver hoops on from Amazon. This bow is from Urban Outfitters. Got my favorite loafers on and we're ready to go. So let's go have a little coffee date and go shopping. god it's christmas it's christmas at the grove i'm so happy every time i'm here i look at that bridge and i think about the episode of the hills where lauren and heidi and their boyfriends were here <laughs> and the fake snow fell down it's the best All right, got here a few minutes early. We're at La La Land Cafe in the Grove, and I've been here once before. I'm pretty sure I vlogged it, and the coffee gave me an IBS flare. <laughs> so pray for me that that doesn't happen this time. I might try to get something else, but we'll see how it is. And I'm so excited to catch up with Molly. I can't believe it's been so long since I've seen her. It's gonna be great. All right, just now leaving the Grove. It's a few hours later. I had a lovely time catching up with Molly. Always love seeing her. And I love seeing Elton, of course, one of my favorite parts. I did manage to get a couple things for Drew's birthday as well. So I'm feeling good, I'm feeling accomplished. It's actually literally almost two o'clock now. That's crazy. Like. Drew's texting me like, hello, are you okay? So anyway, we're gonna head home and see what we get up to the rest of the day. I have some editing I need to do when I get home. And it was a lovely, lovely day at the Grove. Very happy. It is much later now. It's close to like, I was gonna say 6 p.m., but it's literally five o'clock. It feels like midnight. It honestly does. We are done with our little pot roast. It's looking so good. We have the lights out on the patio, or the lights on out on the patio. Lights out. And it's looking real good. We just shredded everything, and then we took some of the juices 
from like the broth and did like a little cornstarch slurry and made a gravy to pour over the top. And then instead of putting, I think I've mentioned this before, but instead of putting like cut up potatoes in a pot roast, we like doing it over a bed of mashed potatoes instead. It's just like, oh my God, it's so, so good and satisfying. So Drew's making the mash at the moment. Mash. He's really struggling. So now we're gonna plate it up and I'm gonna show you what everything looks like. It's looking pretty good. Okay, this is how you make the perfect pot roast. You get your bed of mashed potatoes, well seasoned. I also forgot to mention that we put a bunch of garlic in the pot roast earlier as well. So you get your garlic mash, then get your toppings and you put them on and make sure you get the liquid in there too. The vegetables are my favorite part. Is anyone else the same? Oh, it looks so good. Yes, please. Oh, she's fogging. Look how cozy it is in here. I'm so happy. And then last but not least, just a little bit, you add just a, a little bit of gravy, or maybe a lot. Mmm, mmm, mmm! I did put a, a little too much liquid on here, but that's fine. It's gonna all be for a good cause. We used some herbs from our garden in here, but if you have more fresh herbs, because like our garden is... <laughs> She's on the outs. Yeah, it's very sad. Then you could top with some fresh herbs. But look at that! Look at that perfect hearty plate. I know I'm not Midwestern, but I was raised by a Midwestern and spent almost every summer of my life in the Midwest. So my mean potatoes heart is very happy. We're gonna do a taste test. Why am I doing this sitting in the kitchen when I need to go sit down? I don't know. Gotta get everything. Someone's car alarm is going off outside. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Thoughts? I like it. I think it's better than last time. I think so too. Delicious. Yes, we're eating our dinner on the coffee table. It is elevated. We are happy about it. And they've already started with the Netflix shitty Christmas movies. <laughs> So excited. We might have to watch this, we'll see. It is now 8.30 p.m. We've been, oh my God, we've been obsessed with this docu-series that we found on Netflix called Surviving Twin Flames, which is like this internet cult thing, which was crazy. And then we found out they have another one on Hulu called, no, sorry, on Prime, what's it called? Desperate. <laughs> Pat Riley speaking, oh my. Desperately seeking soulmates. Drew was laughing and he was like, wow, that's a really shady title. <laughs> like, desperately seeking. But it's basically about this internet cult that was created. These two people are scam artists, basically, and they've created this, like, internet cult. And it's, like, it's weird at first. You're like, oh, okay, like, it's kind of harmless, whatever. But then it, like, it gets darker and darker and darker. Anyway, I won't spoil it, but, like, Definitely recommend if you're looking for something good to watch on Netflix. And then we've only gotten one episode into the one on Prime, but that's really interesting. And it's like a different angle. Kind of like when they did like multiple Firefest documentaries. That was quite interesting. And I was just sitting here looking at our plants and some of them we haven't watered since before we left for England, which was tomorrow. It will be four weeks ago. So uh, it's definitely time to water some of these babies. We also got is there something on this lens? Hello? We also got some, um, oh, there's fucking dishes in this sink. God damn it. <laughs> we also got some cool lights for the kitchen that I will show you about momentarily. But yeah, first, we're gonna give all these babies. Oh. And she's down. <laughs> she's down. A bath. Okay, got that one down. They're getting so long. It's so dark in here, sorry. We switched out our lamps. This is the lamp, oh, you can't even see it. This is the lamp that used to be in our bedroom, but it's like really, really bright. So we decided to put it out here because the lighting in this apartment is like kind of the one thing I don't love, but I like cozy lighting. I just mean for like filming, it's not ideal. So we switched that one out with the one that I thrifted. So this little like swirly girly, and yes, we're gonna ignore my clean laundry that needs to be put away right there. Um, we have her in our bedroom now. It's taking me 10 minutes to do something that would take two seconds. Typical me. Can't forget the ficus. This one really needs it actually. We don't really have a schedule for plants. We just kind of wait until they look like they need some water, but typically for like the summer months with our like long hanging plants, like the pothos and stuff, it's like once a week. And then in the winter, it's like once every two weeks probably. 
Drink up my little babies. My dad used to talk to his plants, like watering them when I was younger, and I used to think it was like really unhinged, and now I do it. I just realized that there is food on my sweatshirt, and there has been for this entire vlog. <laughs> There's been food on my sweatshirt. <laughs> anyway, we got a package of these cool lights that we put in our kitchen the other day and we realized that there, I thought there were four in a pack, but there were only two in a pack, so we ordered another pack. So I think they were each like maybe $18 or something like that. And they're these LED lights that you can just stick up underneath your cabinets and you can set them to be motion censored. So they look like this and then you just like put the little sticky things and then you just right there, we need to charge them. But yeah, it comes with like a rechargeable little like cord. We already have like a bajillion of those. And then it comes with these little sticky things, but we just use the Velcro ones because we want to be able to like take them off and recharge them. So it's nice to have like little rechargeable lights for under the counter. I just think that's cool. It's not necessary at all, but we like them. What else do we have in here? Oh, it's my hat thing. This is another thing that I was influenced to buy off of TikTok. However, it's something that I desperately needed for like storage reasons. And it's a organizer for hats. So basically it's like these hangers that you can put all of your hats on. So they have like little clips and then you put like either the bill or the back of like your hat. And then they hang like that and they don't take up as much room. And I bought a pack of two of these and I was like, oh, I only need one of them. And I gave the other one to Drew, but then I already ran out of room. So I ordered another pack. You me I do. I, I didn't realize that. Well, I guess I do. Because if you think about it, I have like bucket hats. I have summer hats. I have my fuzzy hats. I have my trucker hats, my dad hats. I'm just a hat girly. I always have been. My dad is a hat guy. Like he always wore a hat. He doesn't really wear hats that much anymore. He rocks the bald head. I just love hats. So this is like a nice convenient way. You can just like hang it right in your closet and then it doesn't take up like a ton of space. I had this like entire basket that was like overflowing with hats and it was just like really disorganized. And I like, I don't know, I'm anyway for having ADHD. I'm like a very visual person. So like if something is in front of me, then I know it exists, but if it doesn't, like if it's not within my line of sight, I will forget it exists. If there was a way to display every single thing I owned, I would be so much better off, but at least in this living situation, that's not gonna happen. So anyway, we're gonna charge up the lights, and I'm gonna put these in my closet so I can hang some more hats on them. I'll show you what it looks like with one of them full. So here is what it looks like with all of the hats on it, and I just think it's so cool, and it doesn't take up that much space at all, so I'm gonna fill up another one. I don't have too many left, but yeah, those are the other ones that I need to add to this. I'm gonna like get in bed and read my book and all that kind of stuff soon, but I did purchase a new camera. Um, I don't really purchase like new equipment very frequently, but I did purchase a new potential vlogging camera. Actually, let me do like a test. Here's my little test. It is like, I'm pretty sure 4K. So we'll have to see how we feel about it, how we feel about the quality, the focus. It isn't as wide of an angle as I would prefer. Like I think, oh, that's me zooming in. I don't know, we're gonna have to see, but I really want to improve like the quality of my vlogs. I'm just trying to like take myself more seriously, you know? We're gonna see what ends up happening with this, but it is really nice. I can, I feel like I can see the quality is good. I just hate having to hold out my arm this far, so. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see what ends up happening. You'll have to let me know what your thoughts are on that camera. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna head to bed soon. But yeah, like I said before, um, you will have to let me know your, you know, Vlogmas requests. Um, let me know like things that you really enjoyed if you've watched Vlogmas from me before. Things that you've enjoyed seeing, things that maybe you wanna see me add. Like, do you wanna see me do maybe like a Q&A, like a little mini Q&A every Vlogmas or talk about certain topics or include certain things. I don't know. We're definitely gonna do advent calendars. That's for sure gonna be a thing. Just give me all the feedback because I would love to know what you wanna see this year. I just wanna make this year really, really fun. December is one of my favorite months to vlog because it's just so fun and so cozy and so festive. I am gonna wash my face, brush my teeth, crawl into bed, and I guess this is goodbye until Vlogmas. So I'm sad, but I will see you soon. I'm gonna enjoy this little break, celebrate Drew's birthday this weekend. And I will see you very soon. Vlogmas year like 10 or 11. That's insane. Okay. Love you. See you soon. Bye.